Star Man Day 1 in the aftermath of the explosion of announcements with Final Fantasy 7's 25th anniversary stream. We got to see more of Ever Crisis. We got to see Crisis Core Reunion, a brand new HD remaster for the game coming out this winter. And we also got to see our first look at Rebirth, which is the sequel to the game we loved, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, I wanted to start off today by talking about Zack's new voice in Crisis Core Reunion. Uh, if you've seen the trailer for Crisis Core Reunion, you would know that they've actually changed the voices from the original game back in 2008 when it was on the PSP. Uh, no longer is Rick Gomez the original voice of Zack Fair who portrayed him in Advent Children and Crisis Core. Now it is Caleb Pierce who portrayed Zack in the ending of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now, I did not like Caleb Pierce's voice of Zack in Remake at all. In fact, it was very, very jarring and surprising to see that they casted somebody with such a completely different kind of style and voice and pitch compared to what Rick Gomez was. Zack speaking. So I can cut loose, right? Zack speaking. Making progress, Zack. And Jill. I can cut loose, right? Within reason. By the way, what is your dream? To become first? Is it? No. To become a hero. Um, first? Is it? No. To become a hero. And, um, reflecting back on it, I remember seeing some people talking to me about this on Twitter or YouTube because I had a problem with the voice. And I, uh, people were saying to me that the reason they probably recasted Zack and had such a higher pitched voice in Remake was because I think they were trying to target, how you say, I think they were trying to present Zack in a tone or pitch that was reminiscent of the Japanese Zack voice actor. If you don't know, in Japan they did not change the voice actors for Remake. The voice actor for Zack is Kenichi Suzumura, who has always portrayed Zack throughout everything, like the compilation, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, Remake, all that stuff. So the fact that they casted Caleb Pierce as Zack, they were trying to reflect this Japanese voice actor, I think, that had a much uh, higher pitch or tone of voice. Now the problem with this is, I think the theme with this conversation and where it's going is that what works in the East doesn't always work in the West. And the point I'm trying to make with this is that sometimes voice actors are drastically different when it comes to dubs than they are in Japan and the West likes it that way. The reason I'm saying this is because there are many other projects and things like that where um, the biggest example I can think of is something like Dragon Ball, right? In Japan, they've had this very old lady voicing Goku for the longest time. Right? Goku has always been this lady, I mean, she's very, very old now, like 80 something. You know, I always call her Granny Goku or whatever. And, uh, you know, growing up watching Dragon Ball Z and hearing Sean Shemo portray Goku, it was like so cool and he's still my Goku to this day. But when you listen to like Japanese Goku, it is so drastically different. Time's up! Okay, here goes! Ah! Ah! Gotcha! Ah! Put that earring on! And that's what I'm trying to say with this conversation about what works in the East doesn't always work in the West. Um, I think like the actor drastically needs to be changed in my personal opinion, but it's actually not just my opinion when it comes to uh, changing Zack's voice actor because the internet is kind of making their own comments about it. And I was actually surprised because usually I'm the only person who thinks this. So I wanted to bring this up. Um, I found numerous things if we change scenes here. Well, here's one, right? So I'm super glad that they have finally brought this beautiful game to the modern world. But someone needs to make a petition to get the original voice actor back for Zack. This version has been Yassified Queen. Now, I don't really know what that means. I don't, I don't know what that exactly goes for. Um, but yeah, there was a comment I saw. It was like actually like one of the most liked comments on here. So yeah, here. I'm not really digging the new voice for Zack, but everything else looks promising. 
67 likes. Same, honestly, not really digging any of the voices in the trailer. Same, I was confused when I heard it. Is there a reason why they recasted his VA? He was so good and fit Zach to the T. Now, I also went on Twitter because I was like, I can't be the only one thinking this, right? And I found some other things. Here is somebody who actually made a whole <laughs> page on Twitter called Recast Zach Fair. Give us the OG, or at least give us someone who fits better. The new voice does not fit his appearance and sounds out of place. We want someone who fits. Spoilers, my long-awaited favorite character of all time, Zach Fair in Final Fantasy VII Remake, is ruined. How could they have not recasted Rick Gomez? Disaster. How can we fix this for the future? I'm devastated. I get Square Enix wanted a new voice casting for the FF7R, but Caleb Pierce completely destroyed one of my favorite characters as Zach Fair. I hope Square Enix realizes he isn't cut out for it and takes back Rick Gomez for the upcoming parts. Like, so this this page was actually like just retweeting, as you can see, a lot of comments that people had a problem with. Now, since the reunion trailer came out, there were those comments on YouTube and I actually searched Twitter. And it is insane, man. Just watch the Crisis Core trailer. What the fuck is Zack's voice? God, I'ma miss Zack's old voice. We should be talking about Zack's new voice in Crisis Core. It's just bad. Not a fan of Zack's new voice at all. I wish they kept Zack's OG voice, honestly. Zack's new voice, look at how they massacred my boy. So the Twitter is just filled with this, man. Regardless of, you know, people that were trying to defend it and what else, when it happened at the end of Remake, there is a lot of people who were past fans of Crisis Core and they were coming out on Twitter to say something. I actually tweeted Square Enix and Final Fantasy VII as well saying, you should really take a look at Twitter because this voice is not really adding up objectively and the people do not like it. So it's pretty insane, man, that like they're probably gonna write it up, right? They're not gonna change the voice or allow Rick Gomez. I think the best bet people have is that they can get the Steam version and hopefully they can just mod in the Rick Gomez voice from the old version because all of the lines are the same. The game uh, is just gonna play a little bit differently and looks like it's just visually different from that sense, but it's pretty insane, man. I'm glad like, you know, people are kind of like seeing this because usually they don't agree with me. I mean, a lot of people don't agree with me about Brianna White and Aerith, I'll say that much, but um, you know, hopefully Square Enix is gonna listen to these people and kind of like get an idea that this is just not what we really want out of the character, especially in the West compared to the East. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. And hopefully there is some change or there are some options later on because we're all pretty dissatisfied 